how, like, is it people that you would expect to be in the hospital? Is it overweight people, people that haven't taken care of their health, people that are older? Or is it like you look around and it's just random, like like a whole bunch of car accidents just happened? That's a good question, man. Um, so my, my brother actually asked me that same question. So I just went through and jotted the age uh, distribution. Um, nobody in their 20s, two in their 30s that... Um, don't really have uh, a documented health history. Uh, um, and then it's just kind of like scattered throughout. I think we had one 92, had a few in their 50s, 40s, 60s, all over the board, man. But if you're going to talk about, if I'm just visually looking at that person and look like, are they healthy or not healthy? I would say overall, I'm not getting like marathon runners in there. That's not to say that can't happen. I just haven't seen it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, I can only go off of what I've seen. Um, but so man, I, I, uh, I mean, just, just cutting straight to it. You and I both know a lot of guys that are working right now. They're driving trucks and they are delivering stuff. And then another, a lot of guys that aren't working and, uh, you know, you're a healthcare professional that will be impacted if the disease spreads more. Do you want those guys to be able to be out there working because it doesn't look like they get sick enough to get into the hospital? Or does them out there participating in the economy put you at greater risk and more than you should be willing to, to have to endure? Um, I'm, I would say this. If... If going back to work and kind of opening everything up without, you know, any sort of precautions and there was, you know, um, a large spike of infections and people kept coming in, we would we would be stretched to the we would get stretched to the limit. But I think we could deal with it. Obviously, I would be probably exposed to more cases of covid. Um I can tell you right now, my hospital is already preparing for like the worst possible scenarios to where um, I would essentially and all the other ICU nurses would act as kind of like almost like a manager for uh, nurses that aren't uh, traditionally ICU nurses. So I would have more or less like four nurses under me. Um, and then I would be responsible for managing the ventilators and just like taking care of any problem that might arise. That's kind of how it was framed to me. Um, we haven't went over the X's and O's in that of that, but that's kind of. Uh, and that's with the like expectation that that there are so many healthcare workers that will that have been infected by it because they've had to care for people that have it that there could be a drastic reduction in the number of nurses that are available. Say, say that one, one more time. So you're saying that the, that you have been trained based on uh, what happens if a whole bunch of healthcare workers get coronavirus because they've been exposed at so much higher of a rate than the normal people that would be running the hospital would get sick and so you'd have less people to be able to manage so you'd have to bring in new nurses from another place or maybe that aren't normally uh, doing this so, type of work so that's a good question sorry i didn't really clarify that so we have right now other areas of our hospital are actually um low on their census um so for example we have a whole floor that takes um you know elective surgery type patients um and then overall, I would say people are trying to stay away from the hospital as much as possible. So if you look on every given day on a hospital, there'll be a surgery schedule and there'll be, I don't even know, 30, 40 patients on that surgery schedule. Those patients aren't there anymore. So we have nurses. We just don't have ICU nurses. A lot of our nurses right now are being furloughed, actually. Um, we've had... and. I, I don't, I don't I want to get into this, but we've had administrators um, let go, too, because I, I assume we're in uh, financial trouble. I mean, I don't I don't look at the books, but I mean, we've let 
several administrators go, we're furloughing nurses. The next thing to go is probably they're going to let some nurses go, you know? I don't know. It's kind of weird, man. It's like in certain areas of the hospital, it's a ghost town. But if you go to the emergency room in the ICU, it's a completely different story.